everybody welcome to crafty and new today's video i'm bringing you five projects for my summertime pier tray in which i'm decorating in lemon decor so for our first project we're going to do a lemon marquee using one of these marquee signs that you can get from the dollar tree for a dollar these are super simple and easy to put together they're just made of cardboard and they require two AAA batteries and you can do anything you want with them they're easy to paint you can DIY your own way so with this one I'm going to paint um, I'm using my folk art paint and lemonade and I'm going to give it two good coats of paint inside and out and then once I get that painted I'm also going to use a plaque that I got from Hobby Lobby it was like 25 cents it wasn't very much and I'm also going to paint it yellow and then once I have all that painted, I want to distress it with my Waverly Antique Wax. And I'm just going to dry brush it on. I just want it to be lightly brushed on there. These marquees are such a good deal from the Dollar Tree. I mean, I was, I was able to pick up quite a few of them, so you'll be seeing um, quite a few DIYs from me. With these and they're so easy to work with and I'm also going to distress my plaque I want to make it look a little um, weathered also I just want to take this time to welcome everybody back to my channel I'm sorry I've been absent for a few days, but my daughter came from Washington State. I haven't seen her for a year because her husband's stationed in the Army, and they're not able to come back very often. So I wanted to take as much time as I could. You know, I wanted to spend my time wisely with her, cherish every moment, and I was lucky to get two more days out of her because her plane kept getting, her flights kept getting canceled. So, you know, I felt bad for her, but inside I was like, yay! <laughs> I get to keep her another two days. So that's why I'm a little late on my downloads, and I apologize for that, and then we'll get right back on schedule now. Now I'm just taking the lights that came with the marquee, and I'm just going to insert them in the hole. There's a diagram that comes in the package that shows you how to insert the light, so it's real easy. I just followed the diagram and inserted them through the holes. And I only painted one side of this arrow because you're not going to see the back side of it. So yeah, her flights kept getting canceled. Um, this COVID thing has everybody's canceling. I mean, all the airlines have been canceling flights and rerouting. And uh, we didn't think she was ever going to get back home. But, you know, I didn't care. <laughs> I've been a little little down past couple days but I'm I'm back so and that was the back that's what the back side looks like when you get all the lights in there and now they come with these bulbs just like these little plastic bulbs you just snap on over the lights and that's what I'm doing here I'm just snapping the bulbs on And now what I'm doing is I'm taking some rub-on transfers I purchased from the Dollar Tree and I'm cutting out the letters that I need, which I'm just spelling out lemonade. So after I get those cut out, I'm going to center my O on there so I can start from the center and work my way out. These are easy to use. You, I just scratch them on with my nail. I mean, and they last for a while. They, I mean, I've never had any issues with them coming off, so great bargain, Dollar Tree again. The only thing I do have trouble with is getting the plastic off. Oh my god. Sometimes I have to fight with that, but...
And then once I have that on there, I'm just taking a brown paint marker and I'm going to attempt to paint a lemon slice on here. Now, I'll just give you a heads up. I'm not the best artist in the world. And I had, uh, oh, okay, never mind. Never mind. Forget all that. That is coming up. But here I just paint. <laughs> here I just paint my 25 cents in black on here. That I can do. If I had a hard time, though, my marker wasn't wanting to work. Oh my gosh. Now, here's my attempt at drawing lemon. Like I said, I did the best I could. I, I don't claim to be an artist. Oh my gosh, now that I'm watching it, they look horrible, but I think that just adds to the uh, uniqueness, if that's the word, <laughs> to the piece there. And now I'm just going to hot glue that plaque onto the arrow, and I'm not doing it straight across. I wanted it at an angle, so you can see how I'm doing it here. I'm just kind of, I didn't want it straight. I wanted it look like it was lopsided. You'll get a better look here in just now. I'll turn it around so you all can see it better. But see, I just kind of wanted it like going by the arrow. And there it is with it turned on and I add a little green ring underneath and I just thought this turned out so cute. I love how it turned out. Wish my lemon would have looked a little better on there, but you know, it just adds to the uniqueness of it. So for project two, we're going to do a summertime gnome. Now this was my first attempt at making a gnome and what I used here is a mop head from the Dollar Tree. I had some, I don't know if it was rice or what it was, but it came out of an old rice bag I had and I'd been saving, and then a white sock. So now it almost looked like buckwheat, like shit, I don't know what you call it. It's not rice, but anyway. I dumped it in the sock here, and then I'm just going to fold the sock down and trim it down to where I need it to be. You can also stuff some, um, like filling in there if you wanted it to be a little more uh, not as wobbly but for what I'm using it for I didn't need the filling in there and then I'm just gonna hot glue the top together there so some, none of that rice comes out I'm just gonna fold it over I'm just kind of molding it to where I like it. And then I'm going to take the mop head and I'm going to take my scissors and cut some of this off the mop head. This stuff is so soft. This, could, this mop head could be used for anything. I've never felt material this soft <laughs> for a mop. I have no idea how that's going to get anything clean. And then I'm going to cut each strand of this in half and I'm just going to glue it onto my sock for the beard. You can also use you know, string or, um, you know, any, you could use anything to make a beard. You, uh, you could get some of that, uh, faux fur material and put on there, but this is all, this is what I had on hand and I decided the last minute that I wanted to do a gnome. So this is why I'm using the mop head. It actually turned out really cute. I like the gray and white beard on it and I'm just hot gluing it to where I want it. And I actually did two layers of this. I did one bottom layer, and then I kind of went through and filled in some of the empty spots. So I did a top layer to make it look a little more fuller so you couldn't see as much as this, of the sock. And then once I have everything on there, I'm just going to take another piece of that mop head and I'm going to tie it tightly at the top so that it, I don't, 
I not only hot glued it, but this will also help hold it together also. And I'm just squeezing it tight so that none of my mop fibers come off. Then once I tie that in, I'm just going to bring it forward. It just looks like it's part of his beard. And then I'm going to give it a nice little trim, make them all the same length. And then you're going to need a piece of cardstock, and you're just going to make a cone shape. Um, and then hot glue that cone shape together. I didn't want a very big head for him because that's going on my tear tray, so I didn't want it to you know, be in the way of me being able to put it on my tear tray. So I just made a short little cone. And then once I have my cone made and put together, I'm going to take some yellow fabric that I had and I'm going to wrap it in the yellow fabric for his hat. And this you just hot glue it and you just wrap it till you like the length of the hat. How much you want overhanging the top. Hey, if you guys like this video, be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so that you will be notified of all of my future uploads. And give me a big thumbs up if you like it, because anything helps me grow. And then once I have it to where I like it, I'm just going to cut off the excess fabric and we're just going to glue it down inside the cone. You can also use like the styrofoam cones for this, which I didn't have any of that on hand. Like I said, I'm just making do with what I have. This was a last minute project idea. And then once I have his hat the way I want it, I'm just going to glue it on there with some hot glue, shove it over his head. And then I'm just taking a little wooden bead and I'm just going to glue that to the front for his nose. And there he is. There's my gnome. I'm going to give him another quick little trim because I noticed some pieces that were hanging a little lower than others. I'm telling you, if you get a chance, make sure you get one of these mop heads or two because they're great for anything. There he is, all complete. So for my next project, we're going to do a fresh squeezed lemonade sign. And you'll need this printable, which I'll put the uh, link in the description box below for it. And then a cutting board. You're also gonna need some paint. And the color I'm using is lemonade from Folk Art. And we're just going to give this cutting board a few good coats of this lemonade paint. And now the printable, you'll see I did print that on yellow paper because I wanted it to contrast with the light yellow. I thought it looked really good. Because I wanted it to have that faded look. I didn't want it to be too dark. Because I want this to look like it's something that's been outside. And then I'm just trimming it down to size. And I'm going to round off the corners here so that it looks better sitting on the um, cutting board. So 
But here I am, I'm just rounding off the corners so they'll fit in the cutting board better. And then once I have that cut the size, I'm just going to slather it with some Mod Podge. Or as my daughter likes to call it, Mod Posh. And then I'm just going to slap it onto the cutting board. I'm going to take my roller and roll out any bubbles or wrinkles and it just smooths it out nicely. Then once I have it smoothed out nicely, I'm taking some jute twine. And I'm just going to wrap it around the top there with jute all the way to the neck of the cutting board. Which I don't know what happened to all the footage, but there it is all wrapped. <laughs> Which I'm assuming you guys probably know how to wrap stuff with jute twine. I'm just hot gluing that down so it doesn't come apart. And then once I have that wrapped with jute twine, I'm going to take me some this buffalo check ribbon and I'm going to cut it right down in the middle because I don't need it to be that wide. So I'm just going to cut it right down the center of it. If you guys get a chance, make sure you follow me on my social media pages. Um, you can follow, you can find me on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and TikTok, all at Crafty and New. And then you can find me on Twitter at Crafty underscore Anew. And you'll see some small little DIYs that I'll post over there. Follow me. And then I'm just taking the ribbon and I'm just tying it like a shoestring bow, like, just slap, slap it on there, tie it, then I still flip it out. And then once I have that done, I am taking a fake lemon that I purchased from Hobby Lobby. It came in like a bag of six, I think. And I'm gonna glue that on there in between the jute line. And there's our fresh squeezed lemonade sign. 25 cents. So for project number four, we're doing a lemon crate. Again, I'm using folk art paint and lemon. I don't know where the footage went of me painting this crate, I have no idea. So you're catching me in mid-paint. No, I actually do. I just forgot to hit record, okay? It happens. Especially at my age, you just forget sometimes. <laughs> Once I get that painted, I'm going to insert some floral foam in the crate. And then some of this is from the, uh, it's a garland I purchased from Hobby Lobby. I don't know what kind of 
floral it is, but that's what I do usually most of the time. I go in and just purchase these big long garlands when Hobby Lobby has their 50% off. And then I just, it, it'll last you forever and you can get all kinds of greenery. And I'm just inserting that into the uh, floral foam with a couple of lemons in there too. And I'm just making a pretty arrangement. I'm using this greenery that I got from Hobby Lobby and then I'm using the white floral pick I got from Dollar Tree. And there's our pretty little lemon crate. And yes, I wanted that much greenery in there. I wanted it to look like it was grass, like they were just laying in a grassy crate. So for project number five, our last project, we're making a bike plaque. I use, um, I'm using this bike I purchased from Hobby Lobby. And then the plaque I also purchased from Hobby Lobby. And some sunflowers from Dollar Tree. And my folk art paint and patina, which is my favorite color. That's like what everything in the house was painted. And then my folk art paint and lemonade. So I'm going to start out now. I want to let you know that I did wet my sponge. So my sponge is wet because I didn't want the blue to be so like bright. I actually wanted it to look like it was a blue stain. So instead of wetting down my paint and making a mess, I always just wet my sponge and I just dip it in a little bit of paint. And then I just paint over my wooden plaque with this. So you can see there, it kind of just looks like a stain. I didn't want it to be that color blue. Like that was in the, you know, I didn't want it to be that bright. So that's how exactly I wanted it to come out as. And then I'm going to paint the bike with my folk art paint lemonade. And then once I get that painted, I'm going to hot glue the bike onto the plaque. And I just painted the front because you're not going to see the back. And then I'm just going to take a little sunflower head from that thing of sunflowers from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to glue it onto the bike basket. And there's our bike plaque. And here's everything put on my three-tier tray. There's the little gnome. Hi, gnome! With my lemon crate in the back. And then I just decorate it with some greenery and some florals. And then there's our lemonade marquee, a couple lemons and some flowers. And then there's our bike plaque and our lemon sign. Again, I just put some greenery and stuff around it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up. And share this video if you like it. And I just want to say thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye!